for the end zone. Touchdown! And the left jab. Takes the shot. Access 7 Sports. For all of your local sports, tune to Access 7. Well, quite a bit. Um, you know, get two players that uh, both played in the Memorial Cup last year. Um, you know, both high picks in the BAM draft. Obviously, Josh has developed into a, he even drafted a lot higher last year if he hadn't had a major injury. So I feel we got one of the, and I don't even know where to go with it, but one of the top 10 defense in the league. And, and next year, you know, he'd be in one of the top three or four defensemen in the league. So being able to accomplish that for this year and for next year, you know, with him is obviously really important to what we hope can happen here in the next, whatever it is, month or so for Memorial Cup. When you look at the, the compensation, John, it's substantial, obviously. Is that an indication in particular of how much you think of Mahura? Well, yes. And what, you know, you look at the compensation that's going around for overage players, um, there's really not a lot of difference if you look at where somebody was drafted and, and so forth. So uh, it's just it's the price of doing business. I think there's been some high prices this year uh, for overage players and other guys. Um, I think this is a, a relatively high price, but in saying that, we have both these guys for a year and a half, and uh, that's really big. The wick potentially longer, maybe? Yeah, depending how you develop. Like I think this is a case of like, of like Jonathan Smart. Like, uh, you know, he's been playing in his hometown. That's not a bad thing, but there's certainly different pressures that come with it. Probably distractions. Yeah, I thought he had a real. You know, I thought we hold. I'm gonna go back to living in the past, but I thought we outplayed Red Deer last year. So some of their players we outplayed, but I remember Josh, or I, I remember Jeff a lot. Like I thought he was a real good player in that series. Him and Musil were good, real good players versus some of the other guys that they acquired. So uh, he's got a lot of potential and uh, we're certainly going to try and, you know, get it out of him. He's a big guy, 6'3", 200 pounds. He can play right wing, he can play center. Uh, we like to think that we never have enough centermen because of something happens or face-offs and stuff. So we're really looking forward to him. What's your scouting report on the, the two guys, John? <coughs> Just in terms of the type, type of players they are. Well, obviously Mahur is about a 60-point man a year. Uh, on, he's on pace for that, and uh, Jeff's a, a, or, uh, Jeff's a two-way player. But uh, you know, we hope with the, the kind of team that we have and play like that, we can enhance his offense. Anything else happening this afternoon? Are we still sitting with 12 forwards? Yeah, I, I don't know. Like, we're fine with that or we might do something from within with that, I don't know. John, you, you've talked about this organization not just wanting to win now, but wanting to sustain success. Uh, do you have any concerns about being able to sustain when you're giving up three first round picks? No, I don't, you know, I don't know. Like that's, that's just where we're at as a team. You, uh, do you want to go half into the pool or do you want to go in right in? And, we're clearly in a situation <clears throat> where we want to go all in, but in saying that again, we've done it with, you know, with having to look to next year, and and we did that. So, um, you know, that that's it's just the price of business. Uh, that's been the statement of the organization, and that we mean that to aim to be a playoff team every year. And uh, but these kind of years, like this year, and the possibility of hosting, they don't come along very often, if at all, and so you got to try and take advantage of it. This has been building for a month with all the trades you've made. Do you like where this team sits now that it's almost done, not just this year, but as you mentioned, next year as well? Yeah, like, I mean, there was lots of other teams doing things, and uh, that wasn't driving us. We were not necessarily in conversation with Brent, but we were trying to do some things, you know, for a little bit or plan some things for a little bit. So, yeah, I think we're, you know, I think our defense is really deep. It's really good. And, uh, you know, we haven't, you know, we, we messed with the, the front end with trading Zabel, but we've got a player back that uh, has some real good potential. So, you know, hopefully that ends up being a wash.
obviously, John, you try not to focus too much on what anybody else is doing, but when you look at what teams like Prince George and, and Everett have done out west and some teams out here to a lesser extent, do you, do you feel obligated, compelled at all to, to keep up with the Joneses, as they say? Well, I, I guess and I guess not. Like it's, it's somewhere in the middle, especially with the, the, you know, trying to stay strong for next year. Um, you have to do what's best for your team, and that means a lot of things. What's best for your organization for the future, what's best for your organization now. Um, for the players that you have that are, you know, are wanting to do something this year. Um, you know, and, you know, we've had six straight sellouts. Like, uh, that's not an obligation to do that, but it's an obligation to have a good team. And a good team translates into something. And so, there's, you know, there's lots of reasons to you know, put the whole picture together to try and keep a really high standard.